851, and we're about to be joined by Jennifer Blome. But first, I have to finish <laughs> petting my half of the puppy twins that Jennifer brought in today. These are adorable. Jay, it's good to see you, and good morning, Kelly, and I hope, McGraw, that you feel better soon. But these are two beagle puppies from the APA, Shania and Martina. They're part of a bigger litter, although there are only three left. Our puppies are $250, and the APA is located at 1705 South Hanley. So we open at 10, and honestly, we cannot keep puppies in the house. So they will get adopted quickly, and of course... Big 550 helps, Kelly. Every wow. dog we Do, bring uh, on here, it, still? Gets, it gets adopted, yes. Wow. The last I came to a the APA a couple of Saturdays ago, and <laughs> as I'm walking in, two different families are walking out with two different puppies. I know it happens all the time. So Kelly, they probably go fast. Kelly, fast. as I think your listeners know, is one of our APA <laughs> Humane Education volunteers. And so if you have any listeners who would like to become volunteers, there are all sorts of opportunities. You can be part of the birthday team. You can be in the puppy room. You can go to schools with us. That's mm -hmm. what Kelly and I do. We have 56 volunteers in our Pet Reach and Humane Education programs. If you become a Pet Reach volunteer, you take your own well-behaved dog to nursing homes. So just go to apamo.org, fill out the volunteer application, and then you'll come to an orientation. Also, we have an event coming up, Paws and Prints. And this is our young friends of the APA. It's on March 4th at 2E Creative at 411 North 10th Street in St. Louis. So tickets are $35 in advance, $40 at the door, and it's a wine tasting and art show. What's not to love? Wine Russ, and art yeah. and, mm -hmm. and, and pups. Now, where is this going to be? It's at 2E Creative, which oh. is at 411 North 10th Street downtown. Ross mm. Tui and his group down there, mm -hmm. great folks. Supposedly, that's a beautiful I've, venue. I've been there a number of times. It is really special. Have you, Jay? Yeah. yeah. And so it's at 7 o'clock, 7 to 10 on March 4th. And again, if you want to get tickets at the door, you may do so. That's $40, but there will be wine, beer, hors d'oeuvres. That's all included in the ticket price, and the art will be available for purchase. So that should be a fun event. We're attracting a lot of young friends, and, of course, we really appreciate that at the APA. And again, these little beagle puppies, Shania and Martina, Martina, right? Yes. Martina McBride. The two country stars. All our yes. dogs listen to a lot of good country music at the <laughs> APA. They are available for adoption today. And we're at 1705 South Hanley. You can just walk in the door. So what's their backstory? I mean, I, I know a lot of times you guys don't get the backstory of, on pets. But right. And what we do a lot at the APA is transfer dogs in from other shelters because our adoption rate is so high mm -hmm. that we have empty spaces all the time. So we're glad to help out other shelters in smaller towns in Missouri by taking in their dogs. Mm -hmm. Our why, average why length of that? stay is 7 to 10 days. Why, why is that, Jennifer? You know, Jay, we think that perhaps nationwide the message about spay and neuter is getting across to people mm -hmm. because we don't have as many puppies as we used to at the APA. We mm -hmm. still have a full house most of the time, but because our dogs and cats get adopted so fast, we are able to transfer in from other shelters. Last year we transferred in over a 1,000 animals. Really? So it's great. You know, mm -hmm. we would like to think that nationwide – we are tackling the problem of pet overpopulation. Mm -hmm. Another thing we do as humane educators is go into schools yeah. and teach children about responsibility, compassion, integrity, self-control. And we teach kids to do this with an animal companion mm -hmm. in the room. Oh, my God, Kelly's little dog, LaRue, is so cute. So kids listen. Right. Kids do. They do listen. And then they take that back home. Mm -hmm. And they try to school their parents, too, on, you know what they need to do. Okay, so do, is their mom, Shania and Martina's mom, did they come also? No, we just have the puppies, okay. at, at least to my knowledge today. Again, when you work at the APA, <laughs> the dogs come through so quickly. Yes. And our vet staff is much more familiar than I am with every single yeah. dog and their breed and how long they've been there. But you can come in and browse anytime, and it's fun. And we have a lot of good older dogs, too. Mm -hmm. I think after a certain age, people don't want a puppy. Jay, you want me to come get Oh, that no, no, puppy? no, no. He just wants to... <laughs> I'm good. He just wanted to. I think to that puppy wants to go dance. home with you. Didn't you say your daughter has been asking for a puppy? Absolutely. What do you have now, Jay? I have a cat. Oh. <laughs> George the cat. Well, see, which, George needs a companion. Yeah. George is actually, um, unfortunately, George is in his twilight years. He's, oh. uh, you know, I've lots of experience with him, and he's kind of, you know, he's winding down. And so the discussion is on. You know, mm -hmm. how do we replace George? Mm -hmm. George has been wonderful. George jumped out of the second-story window 
<gasps> of our house. What? Yeah. Talk about nine lives. <laughs> Jeez. Whoa. So, um, and, you know, he, he, I, I, he pushed the screen out, and he went right down. I thought, oh, my gosh. And I looked down, and he just kind of shook himself a little bit, looked up, and then walked away. George Walenda. George wow. Walenda. <laughs> I'm Jeez. glad he was all right. right. Well, you know, another thing that some of our volunteers do, Jay, is foster puppies. And we've done that yes. in the past. So you sort of get right. your fill, and then at the end of a weekend or at the end of your foster period, it's like, okay. But I would want, <laughs> seriously, though, I would want to take every dog that I foster. That's called a foster fail. I yeah. know. I mean, I'm <laughs> sure that happens. I quite fostered often. a little beagle puppy over the weekend, and, and you know, it is fun. Yes. It's fun. So if you're not sure what you want, Jay, that might be the answer for you. We've oh. enjoyed. He, we've enjoyed. He, he just wants to get out and move around a little bit. I see he's got his little spay and neutering scar or uh, stitches yes. in. The, all our animals it, have been spayed and neutered by right. the time they hit the adoption floor, and they have most of their vaccinations, and they're ready to go. And puppies are $250. We do have some older dogs if they're five years old or older, or if they've been on the adoption floor for three months or longer, then we reduce the fee to $100. And we have this new program for some of our qualified dog walkers, and the volunteer dog mm -hmm. walking job is an elite job, mm -hmm. where they're allowed to take some of our dogs on field trips. Oh, mm. really? So they take them running. They'll take That's them to treats great. unleashed. That's great. So the dogs get out. They so get out into in the, the community. they're not in the kennel the right. whole time. Because even though we take really good care of them, they get food, water, love, exercise. They don't want to be there. They want to be in your home. Right. Oh, mm -hmm. that's great. So there's all kinds of So volunteers. what are some of the benefits of it? You know, you can't help but love a little puppy. I mean, you automatically, you fall in love and, and that's it. But there must be benefits to an older dog and that doesn't maybe oh, have sure. that, that cute appeal right off the bat, but well, there's a lot to it. Well, for one thing, they're a house train. <laughs> mm -hmm. And even though puppies are adorable, you do have to house train them. A lot of our older dogs are already well trained. Most of the animals at the APA have been turned in by families. Mm -hmm. Many times families have to move. They right. cannot take their dog. They have a new baby. They do not want the dog. Whatever reason, we don't judge, but that's what we do at the APA. Mm -hmm. We take animals in mostly from other families, and then we rehome them. And we're good at it. Mm -hmm. So you can get a dog that's already trained, mm -hmm. house broken, grateful, ready to go. Yeah, the gray muzzle, you know, they may have a couple of years on them, but mm -hmm. senior dogs are just excellent. I think They're they so are. great to have. Are they also, if I kind of take my dog out for a test drive and it's not quite right for me, can I bring it back? What we suggest people do, if you have another dog at home, bring your other dog in so the two dogs meet. Mm -hmm. I mean, you could bring your cat in, but I don't think most people do that. Mm -hmm. um, it seems like cats and dogs do get along well, and we do cat test our dogs. Um, but that's what we suggest you do. Bring your dog mm -hmm. in. We have three dog parks. Mm -hmm. Let them get to know each other because just like people, mm -hmm. if you put two or three dogs in a room, they may get along, they may not get along, they may work it out, they may not work they it may out. Not. Right. And so you have ample opportunity to uh, let them get to know each other. Occasionally, people turn dogs back in. We wish it would not happen, but occasionally mm -hmm. it does happen. And then we go back to work. Shania is very active. Martina. <laughs> Martina's very low key. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Martina's just kind of chilling out. Shania's ready to break onto the stage and start singing. <laughs> and at the APA, we have a wide variety of dogs. We have beagles. I almost brought a little Westie Silky Terrier mix in this morning, a 10 month old, but he was a little too wild. <laughs> really? <laughs> uh, we have older dogs. We, I mean, it changes every day. And what we suggest you do is go to our website, apamo.org, and look at adoptable pets. We update it hourly. And what's the website seconds, again? Yeah. APA? APAMO.org. McGraw, I hope you feel better. I know. And the event, the uh, Paws and Prints? Paws coming. and Prints is on March 4th at 2E Creative, 411 North 10th Street downtown. Tickets are $35 in advance or 40 at the door. And again, you can just go to our website to find out more about that. Beer, wine, art, all to benefit.